Welcome back to our channel. We have a lovely word special to solve. So today we are asked to find the value of x. If 3 to the power of x plus 1 plus 3 to the power of x minus 1 is equal to 100. We are going to start with this law of exponent that says that a to the power of m plus n is equal to a to the power of m multiplied by a to the power of n. Okay? Now, similarly, a to the power of m minus n is equal to a to the power of m divided by a to the power of n. Now, we are going to apply these two laws into this equation to solve it. So, we we'll have 3 to the power of x multiplied by 3 to the power of 1 plus 3 to the power of x divided by 3 to the power of 1 is equal to 100. So, we solve this is 3 to the power of x multiplied by 3 to the power of 1 plus. Now, this is same thing as 3 to the power of x multiplied by 1 over 3 to the power of 1 is equal to 100. All right. Now, at this point, remember that 3 to the power of 1 is equal to 3. That means that we can write this as 3 to the power of x multiplied by 3 plus 3 to the power of x multiplied by 1 over 3 is equal to 100. Please subscribe to the channel and turn on your notification bell if this is the first time you are seeing this lovely channel. Give us a thumbs up if you love what we are doing. And subscribe to our channel okay, if I've said that before. Always tune in at your convenience. There must be something new for you to watch by God's grace. Thank you very much. So we are going to factorize 3 to the power of x. So we factorize. So if we do that, we have 3 to the power of x bracket. When this is divided by this, we have 3 plus. When this is divided by this, we have 1 over 3 remaining is equal to 100. Okay? Now we are going to solve the bracket first. We have 3 to the power of x bracket. This same thing as 3 over 1. Now the LCM of 1 and 3 is 3. When 1 divides 3, we have 3. 3 times 3 is 9. When 3 divides 3, we have 1. 1 times 1 is 1. <clears throat> is equal to 100. All right, so we have 3 to the power of x bracket. 9 plus 1 is 10 divided by 3. Is equal to 100. Now, let us multiply through by 3 over 10. Okay, let's multiply through by 3 over 10. So multiplying through by 3 over 10. Okay, so if we do that, we are going to have, we are going to have 3 over x bracket 10 over 3 multiplied by 3 over 10 is equal to 100 multiplied by 3 over 10. All right? So here, 3 we divide 3 to give us 1. And 10 we divide 10 to give us 1 as well. So we have 3 to the 4 of x is equal to. Now for the right-hand side, 0 we remove 0. We are left with 10 multiplied by 3. The most interesting part of this video is... Where I proved that the answer I got is correct. Trust me, you wouldn't like to miss that part. I would like you to watch to the end and see how I proved that the answer I got for my ex is valid or invalid, as the case may be.
So this is the sentence three to the power of x is equal to 10 multiplied by 3 is 30. Now, because the power is x, right, and that is our variable, the only way to find the value of x is to introduce log to both sides, okay? So introducing log, introducing log, we will have, we will have log 3 to the power of x is equal to log 30. Okay, now remember that log a to the power of m is equal to m log a, all right, using the power rule. So that simply means we can bring this x to this side. So if we bring it down, we have x log 3 is equal to log 13, all right? Now solving for that, you need me to clean this side. Now, solving for that, we have x log 3 equals log 30. So, dividing both sides by log 3. Okay? So, we have x log 3 divided by log 3 is equal to log 30 divided by log 3. Now log 3, we divide log 3, and we have x is equal to log 30 divided by log 3. Now remember that 30 is the same thing as 10 multiplied by 3. Okay? So that means we can write this as x is equal to log 10 multiplied by 3 divided by log 3. I hope you are still with me. If you have not subscribed to the channel and this is your first time, please do that. All right? Okay? So this is what we have. That x is equal to... Now log a, b is equal to is equal to log A plus log B. Therefore, we can write this as X is equal to log 10 plus log 3 divided by log 3. Now, X is equal to we are going to distribute the denominator. Log 10 divided by log 3 plus log 3 divided by log 3. Okay? So our x is equal to log 10 divided by log 3 plus this will divide itself to give us 1, so we have 1 as well. Now we have x is equal to, 10 can be expressed as 2 multiplied by 5, okay? So we have log 2 multiplied by 5 divided by log 3 plus 1. Now let's solve this further. Okay, if we solve this further, we will have x is equal to, now this is the same thing as log 2 plus log 5. So we have log 2 plus log 5 divided by log 3 plus 1. All right? So, our uh, x is equal to, we distribute the denominator. If we do that, we have log 2 divided by log 3. Excuse me.
Yeah. Okay. Yours. This will be log five divided by log three plus one. Okay. So if we solve for that, we will have that x is equal to log two divided by log three. Remember that log a over log b is equal to log a base b okay so that means that we can write this as x is equal to log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 plus 1 now this is the value of our x now you see why i said that where this will be more interesting is where we prove that this is equal to x by substituting this into this equation are you ready all right we need to clean everything everything so that we'll have enough space to solve this okay all right now this is what we have left as our x we are going to substitute that into this equation so we have 3 to the power of x is log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 plus 1, then plus 1, okay? Plus 3 to the power of our x is log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 plus 1, then minus 1, minus 1. Now, is this equal to 100? Let's see if this is actually equal to 100. Okay? Now, um, we have 3 to the power of log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 plus 2. That is for this and this, right? Then plus... 3 to the power of plus 1 minus 1 is 0. So we are left to this and this. Log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3. Now, is this equal to 100? Remember that a to the power of m plus n is equal to a to the power of m multiplied by a to the power of n. So, if we apply that here, we'll have this to be equal to 3 to the power of log 2 base 3 multiplied by 3 to the power of log 5 base 3 multiplied by 3 to the power of 2. Okay? Plus, here we have 3 to the power of log 2 base 3 multiplied by 3 to the power of log 5 base 3. Now, is this equal to 100? So, this is equal to, also remember that a to the power of log b base a is equal to b. a to the power of log b base a is equal to b. So, using that, that means we can write this as this and this the same, right? So, this is the same thing as 2 multiplied by this is the same thing as 5 multiplied by, now 3 squared is 9, okay? Plus, this is the same thing as 2 multiplied by, and this is the same thing as 5. Now, is this equal to 100? Okay? Now, let's solve further. 2 times 5 is 10, 10 times 9 is 90. So this is equal to 90 plus 2 times 5 is 10 is equal to 100. Now you can see that 90 plus 100 is equal to 100. So that means the left-hand side is equal to the right-hand side. And that proves that we are correct. Thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video. Bye.